Our nearly 11 undocumented immigrants are now living in fear of being deported. Immigrants with green cards and visas now fear what may happen to them next. We have heard of this temporary ban that has been enacted. It discriminates against our Muslim brothers and sisters. It's stopping people from entering our country. We know that families were detained with children and some refugees were sent back. Several years ago, I was privileged to go to the border in Laredo, Texas on two different occasions with Sisters of Mercy on a cultural service learning experience. We were able to cross into the border at Nuevo Laredo where we visited a shelter full of teenage boys and mostly young men who were trying to cross the border. Some of them came all the way from Central America. Some of them jumped on trains. Some of them paid coyotes to smuggle them into the country. And many of them used their life savings to get to the border. The other place we visited was a detention center, which was more like a prison for the undocumented. The image is clear in my mind as young men and women were shackled brought into the detention center and frisked right before my eyes by ICE agents. It was a chilling thing to witness. It was scary. They were treated like criminals. I've had the opportunity to meet with college students who are here under deferred action. Now she and her family are worried that they may have to go home if deferred action is overturned. Our immigration policies need to be just and humane. All people need to be treated with dignity and respect. We do not need a wall. We need comprehensive immigration reform. Our last several presidents, including Reagan, Bush, Bush Jr., Clinton, and Obama, have all talked about comprehensive immigration reform. A policy that would make a pathway for citizenship for undocumented people. It would keep families united. It would establish a guest worker program it would increase border protection, and it would pass the DREAM Act for young people who are brought here in this country at a very young age by their parents. Now we have the current refugee crisis where millions of people are displaced from Syria. Catholic Social Services have brought two families here to Luzerne County. I am proud and honored to call these family my friends. The one family has five children, ages five to 18. The other family has two younger children and three adult children. Those children go to our schools. The parents work in our communities. They are our friends and they are our neighbors. These families were fully vetted. I say fully vetted, extremely vetted. Multiple interviews through the United Nations, the FBI, biometric testing, background checks through Homeland Security. We already have extreme vetting in our country. Our Syrian families are faith-filled, peaceful, God-fearing people. But now some of them li live in fear and they wonder whether they're welcome in our country. I wanna thank several groups for coming today and helping and sponsoring as we stand together in solidarity. The Sisters of Mercy and Mercy Associates. <laughs> members of our clergy. The NEPA Alliance for Muslim Association. Woo! The NEPA Jewish Alliance Association. Woo! The Peace Center from Wilkesbury. The Wyoming Valley Interfaith Council. Woo! Wilkes University. Woo! King's College. Woo! Misericordia University. Woo! And all of you, the people of Wyoming Valley. Let us be reminded as we be be begin our program, the words of Margaret Mead, never doubt that a small, committed, thoughtful group of citizens can change the world. Whoa. In fact, it's the only thing that can. Thank you. Whoa.